It's another edition of Fox Chase uh, bringing you uh, coming to your notice rather. And the first thing I'll be discussing about is, you know, about a man, a comedian, an entertainer, you know, in the entertainment industry who go by who goes by the name Godfrey Church, who landed himself in prison for three years all because of internet photo. Can you just imagine? I know the first thing that will come to my is how come internet photo? How was it? How does it have to you know, correspond with you being in prison? Yes, and here is the story. You know, if, you, if you're the type uh, who knows how to Google very well, please be careful on what you Google on and how you Google. Yes, learn to make good use of your Google. And if, in case you're downloading any picture or artwork, please make sure you do your findings. What I mean, the findings, I mean, it's all investigation on whatever scripts or artwork you're making use of because that was what uh, landed this man in trouble you know being a comedian an entertainer you know who were from river state he was trying to do well for himself and you know beyond the country now nigeria niger for sure we, uh, whereby you're being held responsible for things you don't even know about and at the end of the day they, they, came, they come to tell you it was a mistake. So those three years spent in prison, I would not say it was a mistake or not. Um, yeah, uh, now to the storyline, you know, he was trying to have uh, a birthday organized by some friends, by some international bodies, you know, just to advocate for this particular tea brand. And in the process of doing that, he decided to mark his best day with orphans. Please come to tell him, come to think of it. Now we are saying we should love all our fellow human beings just like ourselves. Now uh, Sunday, which happens to be the fifth of um, September, was the World Charity Day, and you know this man too was uh, trying to give back society by celebrating his own charity day with orphans. Alongside his birthday, and what did he do? He decided to go online, downloaded some, you know, some children's uh, picture, like pictures of children suffering around Africa, just to you know, converse for them, just to seek help on their behalf, just to make, you know, them feel as if they are wanted in the society. He should have no, he should have just, you know, step aside that kind of um idea. Because let's assume he knew he was going to land in prison for just downloading a, for a picture or let me just say a photo. He wouldn't have gone so far. And, you know, go ahead, lo and behold, it was even on his birthday he was arrested. He was arrested on his birthday. You know, he was trying to commiserate the birthday with the orphan um, birthday stuff and all that. So, in that process, a lot of course was put through to not knowing he was being set up. And eventually, guess what? One of the pictures he made use of was the picture of a missing child. Who, 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 who the parents and the clergy in charge of the church has been looking for since 2017. So, the, it was now pinned, that, that issue was pinned on him that, okay, he definitely knows the whereabouts of the child. And after the investigation being conducted, it was, it was later than that. He knew nothing about the whereabouts of the child. It was just a picture, only a picture, just to converse for children who are orphans. I'm very sure those people who posted the child's picture as far as uh, one of those orphans suffering in Africa knew the whereabouts of the child. But instead of the police and um, the church, and the mother, uh, the mother of the child, to go to their appropriate quarters, to go to their appropriate channel, to look for their child, they decided not to go. And what did they do? John, uh, Godfrey was arrested, and at the end of the day, he found himself in prison. As long as he was not even granted that audience, he was not getting fair hearing. Because, according to the story, he was being arranged without the lawyer's consent uh, and they all thanks <laughs> to God because 
it was uh, during COVID nineteen. It was one of those people who were in the prison, but you know during the prison break, he ran out, but he literally came back because he didn't want to be a fugitive. He has forgotten that this is Nigeria. It's, he should have known. He should have just okay. Well, the next thing to do is to travel out. But no, he wanted to be a good ambassador of the country. And he made mention of the vice president coming, promising them uh, a presidential pardon. But until he had just stood out three years in prison, not there was nothing like presidential pardon. Can you just imagine? A lot of things have happened. Even uh, this popular blogger, Linda KJ, can vouch for him there during the period while he was being uh, held up in prison. Now to the lesson of this story and everything. That's why you have to be very careful in anything you're doing online. Fine, social media is good. Internet is a very good uh, thing. It's good to sub the net, but please know the kind of things you sub the net for and be very, very careful on how you make use of uh, scripts or artwork or anything, images or anything online because you never can tell. It can incriminate you, it can, you know, tarnish your image. It can even do something so unpleasant to you. To avoid story that touches, because now this man is just trying to, you know, educate the public and the society at like that. You people should know how and where you solve your net, yes. Know how to solve your net and know where you find the necessary things you need for your um stuffs like maybe you are trying to get a particular information know how far you dig yes and where you dig because you never can tell the uh the kind of artistic work you're making use of can be something so so incriminating which can jeopardize your future so thank god god free uh judge is finally free from you know from the government and at least he yeah, has within his freedom, he's no longer an ex convict. So, to viewers out there, please let's be very, very careful on how we, uh, we make use of the internet. Don't forget to always like, comment, and share. I still remain your host, Chonke. Okay. I'll be able to see you in our next video. Stay tuned and bring this.